Why does being vegan or caring about the planet mean that you turn a blind eye to what's actually in your food? Does riding a wave of moral purity mean that your body automatically develops magical powers to tolerate ultra-processed fake food? The short answer, and in fact the only answer, is no. I don't usually make videos like this, but I am just so shocked and appalled at fast food chains like KFC exploiting veganery to launch what is probably their most processed product yet. Yep, you guessed it because everyone is talking about it, the KFC vegan chicken burger. How many influencers this week have you seen posting taste tests on YouTube or doing comparisons with the real deal? The answer is too many. The problem with chicken is that these days it is not a natural food anyway. Unless that chicken has been left to graze on a pleasant pasture and roamed around on organic land, then it will most likely contain antibiotics, artificial hormones and been fed a grain diet that is most likely contaminated with glyphosate. But the KFC vegan chicken burger isn't much better because it's made from corn. Contrary to what you might think, corn is not derived from mushrooms. Far from it, the corn comes from mould. Yep, you heard that right, actual mould. The technical name is a mycoprotein and it comes from a mould called Fusarium venenatum. They ferment the mould, then add glucose, fixed nitrogen, some vitamins and minerals, and then they heat treat it to remove excess levels of ribonucleic acid. It is so unbelievably far from what the term plant-based should actually mean. What you have to remember is that everything you eat is information for your body. And what is that barrage of chemicals telling your body? Thrive, live a long life, don't get chronic illness and live happily until you're 99. Nope. The message more likely is, what is this weird thing you've just fed me that I don't know how to deal with? An important message to also remember is that as humans, we take our energy from the sun, indirectly via the food chain and directly when we actually go outside. Because we're omnivores, everything we're designed to eat should have been grown under these conditions of natural light. But a mold that's fermented in a big vat of water under conditions of toxic artificial light is not going to send the best signal to our bodies. There is no vibrancy, energy or health in a product that's as processed as this. If you're vegan or vegetarian or plant-based, eat some organic lentils, some chickpeas, some brown rice, something that is recognisably food. In a report by The Guardian last year, they found that more than half of all food bought in the UK is ultra-processed. And now with the rise of the vegan diet, there is so much money to be made from these fake meats. Money that the pharmaceutical companies will also reap when we all end up with chronic illness because we fucked our body through fake food. As a nutritional therapist, I care about how people feel and I wouldn't be in this industry making this video if I didn't want to spread the real food message. In 2013, an 11-year-old boy sadly died after eating a corn burger because he had asthma and he had an allergic reaction. That is because corn can cause allergic reactions in some hives, digestive complaints, you name it. The CEO of corn said that it was as harmless as a potato. Well, I'm not buying it and I don't think you should either. I appreciate that if you're a meat-loving vegan, then you might sometimes want to eat something that does resemble meat. But is your health really the currency with which you want to pay for it?